Hello. I'm John from Servifax. I'm with Ben Severn. Right now, we're looking at the 2017 S1 Pro. Welcome to the Gold Coast, Ben. Thanks very much. Tell me about why this is awesome. Lots of reasons why this is awesome. It's uh, it's one of my favourite sales. This is the one that I sort of set up just the way I like it. So it's uh, incredibly light. It's got got enough juice to get going in some onshore light winds. That's good. If you made it for what you want, that's good. If you made it for what dealers want, I know you're not going to put the effort in. So if you make it for what dealers want, they just want it really cheap so they can make maximum margin on it, and then they're happy. So yeah, that's not really the way we work. So so what have what have you done with it? Uh, so this is a 5.6, so this one's really the biggest one that we do. So it's a little different to the other one, so we actually have a bit more profile than we put into the into the smaller sizes. So this is this is the, the one where you just want that juice to, to get up and going as, as early as possible. Uh, the leech profile is is pretty similar to the smaller sizes. This is this is probably a, a maximum high wind setting so that that leech is, pretty is really pretty open but we'll probably set it up more like a normal a normal setting would probably be a touch more than that. Alright I'll stand on the end if you like. Yeah that would be a fairly normal setting where it's just a little bit open in the in the head, but the real indicator for me is just watching how that number two baton starts to flatten off. So probably probably show you here, like with, with less down ball, you end up with quite a lot of shape at the number two there. And as you pull it on, it gets flatter and flatter, and at that point where it, the shape pulls out of it is really the all round setting that we normally use. That just means that the, all the shape is centered a lot lower where you can control it, so you don't have that leverage pulling you around. Awesome. Um, what else is good about this sail? Uh, so the geometry is all set up the way we, we, we like it, so the, the clue's a bit higher than a lot of other sails. So what that does is it's lifting you all the time, so you're, you're always getting, it's easy to do airs or do any, any maneuvers because you're you haven't got all the weight and downfalls pushing, pushing the board onto the water. Um, and then the construction is probably the, the obvious thing. So. It's pretty, uh, it notes it pretty well straight away as soon as you roll it out. The pro construction is yeah, pretty these, uh, intense. Yeah, these membranes that we do, it's um, something that's a, it's a, it's a bit different, but as a sailmaker, this is, this is a, a wonderful way of building the sails. It changes changes everything because instead of little patches of different materials to to create the, the stretch characteristics or the handling that you want, you just do everything with fibre layout. So in the clue we want a bit more reinforcing, so we add more fibre, just distribute all the all the load out of the clue. The front section we want it a little bit softer so we can we can change the angle of the fibre so it allows a little bit of horizontal stretch without Having any vertical stretch, and you just have complete control over the entire sail, and you can you can set it up however you want. It's it's really sort of opened up a whole bunch of new possibilities, and I think we're probably three or four years into into doing these sails now, and I think for the next foreseeable future, there's there's an incredible amount of things that we can learn and, and keep pushing the, right. the whole thing forward. Looking forward to seeing what's coming up next. Yeah, the weight of the sail is always, you know, that's always the, the thing people are what, most drawn to. So how much weight is changed as off a Pro versus a regular S1? It's probably six, 600 grams, 700 grams. That's but the, S, the S1's already a pretty light sail. But yeah, for this one, so I think this one here is a, is a 5.6, so that's uh, that's two and a half kilo. Now, most 3.5s or 3.3s from just about every other brand weigh more than that. So the biggest S1 Pro 
is going to be lighter than just about anyone else's sale in the market. That just makes things easier. That's awesome. You know, that's just that's awesome. yeah, less effort, cool. putting the position easier. Awesome. Well, this is a great sale, and we got the full range on uh, available on online and uh, in store. So uh, thank you for coming in, and checking this out.